name is Matt Welcome Why am I sat like that? Sit up, you child. <laughs> My name is Matt Welcome Back to the Stop. Matt, welcome back to the Stop. Now, set your flying lap. This is Red Bull can. Now, that, that does not look like Max Verstappen, does it? It just doesn't look like him. Unless that's going to be Perez, and then if that's the case, it's even worse. <laughs> what is going on there? That does not look like Max. It just doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't have that kind of serial killer. Just. It's just, 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 just. Any road. Apart from arguing about that, or discussing that, or even talking about that, this is the Hayabusa uh, calf racer. No, it's not a calf racer. It's always been a rat rod. I said that from the very beginning. Stop getting your knickers in the twist, although I didn't, but whatever. And the playlist is still called a calf racer, calf boosa, whatever. This is the third rendition of this. Remember, it was the calf boosa, calf racer, Hayabusa. Then it was the bare bones booster and now it's the booster street fighter even though once he finished the hammer dog shit he said he didn't want to do another street fighter and this is the bike he got after that right back in the day and he's just done the hds again and he's doing this again straight away so we might get after this after this we might get another husker trashed <laughs> we just don't know so this is day 15, uh, headlights headlights mount. Well, it's either headlight mount, headlights mount, headlight mount, headlight mounts, stage one. You have reached level one. Right, oh, are we going slowly? We might be going slowly, who knows? In order to carry a positive action, we must develop here a positive vision. What? Dalai Lama, I don't believe he said that at all. In order to carry a positive action, what do you mean carry? Carry out a positive action. We must develop a positive vision. Why, what the hell's the here bit for? Maybe he was just a spack, who knows. But that, that slow look, we've gone back to slow now. Amount of peril Oh, what's going on? Right, YouTube has started to lose its mind recently. I don't know why. Every time I go back, it has to reload it. But look, the preview will fully load. It fully loads the preview, no problem. All the way to the very end. Today, headlights. I need to mount a pair of lights on the front. Come just don't have two. That's a good start. It's so 1997. A couple of reasons. I want a pair of headlights. Firstly, for, Why? for the visual. I think that looks quite nice on there. Uh, it doesn't. It's because you put that big, massive billboard here. Look. It's a big, wide, fat bike, and I think twin headlights looks just right. So Apart from the Hayabusa, is that bike, and it has one. It still has one, right? Even the new one. It still has one central dolphin nosed 2023 Hayabusa. It, it looks the same, right? And it has like Parker. Yeah, it still has one light. In, they don't want to show you Ed on, do they? <laughs> there, we can literally see it. So that's not the picture I clicked on. I know this is difficult for you. There we go. So yeah, it's still a central light. It has some shitty side lights, but meh, who cares about them? So, okay. Sort of. it, what I just think is funny is, oh, I, I'm doing this because it's a wide bike. You know, specifically because it's a wide bike. That was a good phrase. Um, specifically because it's a wide bike. It's like, but the orig that bike never had to. To mount a pair of lights on the front. A couple of reasons. I want a pair of headlights. Firstly, for the visual. I think that looks quite nice on there. She's a big, wide, fat bike, and I think twin headlights looks just right. It's the sort of look I want. Also, I... Okay, then, I'll give you that. Whatever. I need effective nighttime riding lights. These are proper five-inch Bates lights. 
See? What? You, you, you've, you've loaded it all. What's going on? What is going on YouTube? A five inch Bates light. It'll stop exactly the same place. What happens if I skip There's it? lots of wildlife, so... Doesn't do it with my phone. It can't be the computer. What, does it just... Because it does it with random videos. It's, good. it's when it knows it's a shit. These are proper five inch Bates light. They give an amazing light up the road and it's black round here at night, absolutely pitch. <laughs> it sounds like it's special where he lives. It's black round here at night. Yeah. Black and there's lots of wildlife, so it's kind of a safe. It's kind of. Is Britain. It's not the Sahara Desert. Safety issue as well. Plenty of light out the front. So, in order to do that, I'm going to use. It's a safety issue as well. Yeah, yeah, that's defined by everything, like the MOT, the DVLA, the highway code, you name it. it it's, yeah, it, okay. It's just, if I said, right, here we go, we're going to put some lights on this bike and then just come out with this bollocks that he just, just 30 minutes of shite, just for the sake of it. These two big fat lugs on the front of the frame, the top one's even got a nice elastic bush in it, so that's perfect. I just need to make... I don't think he knows what the word isolastic means. Really rigid bracket with two holes right there to mount these in. They're bottom mounted in the traditional way and they'll mount just in there. They're bottom mounted in the traditional way for bottom mounted lights. A lot of lights, even, even lights like that, domed, backed glass lights don't have, a lot of them have side mountings, a lot of them have top and bottom, all sorts of shite. They look good on a yacht. And look really cool. I'm a beer, you know, you, 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 you really old high looks. Also, I've got to be able to turn the steering at the same time, so everything's got to fit. There's lots of measuring to do. And obviously, unlike... Oh, well. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Like these other single plate brackets that I've been making, this has got a few more elements to it. So today, it won't be all done in one video. Let's... Oh! Sacrilege! What are you talking? You've got eight hours. Because I thought he's, he's given up the bus driving because his heart has literally left the building. So because it's heart, his heart shit itself, he, he can't be a bus driver anymore. So I thought he has more time. Seems to have less these days. Let's just see how far I can get towards that. Let's go. Well, there we go. Have we just jumped? Get towards that. Let's go. Oh no, 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 sorry. I, I was just I was thinking, hang about what? So this is the template. <laughs> this is the template for his thing at the front. I hope that's, cr I don't know why it's all creased and knackered and bent. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Proper spack. This thing, he does lines and doesn't cut to them. You can see that glorious line there that he didn't cut to. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Just sodding beautiful. Oh, that's it. Get the dagger. Right. Everything starts with the foundation. This... Oh, look, that fits. So cut that off. ...is the first bit that I need to deal with. That's the bit that slots over the frame lugs and bolts through. This is the yeah. factory one. I could just cut that off and use it, but it needs... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do that then. ...to be about 10 mil longer, so I can weld... Why? ...hold onto the bottom of it. So although I can't use that one, I can use it for the dimensions and sizes. Well, yeah, you can. You can just weld something to the bottom of it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? So I can make my own one from scratch. Let's make a start. That's what he's more bothered about. He's more bothered about, oh, I have to make it so it's mine. But every time you do that, it doesn't fit. And I've noticed he also works within the confines of his material. Like he's got, this is the material he's got. And it's all you've got. Which, if you are on a, an, a, a I don't know, a South Pacific island... And you are probably going to be stuck there like Tom Hanks was. You know what I mean? Um, then really, we're, 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 in deep, we're in deep poo, aren't we? Like, like you've got to play with, you know, you, as old AVE says, you've got to piss with the cock you got. But this isn't there. 
this is where it gets dark at night and there's wildlife. <laughs> it gets dark at night. <laughs> Who would have thought someone like Del would have said something so stupid? Right, remember Del, just go up to your line, don't go past it. Oh, who starts there? I'll give him that though. He didn't go. He didn't go much. He didn't really go past it. Either. Just seems a bit of a weird thing to just bury the disc and then start moving instead of starting on the edge. Oh, finally. Can you see if the edges are square? That's not square. You can see it, it's fatter at the bottom and it's moving into the line. What I also find funny as well is, you know, you, you can use this to mark your lines. That, that's really what you should be doing with it. You shouldn't be doing it just to check. Was that for him or us? What are the lines for, Del? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen next. Oh, he's going to cut along the lines. Magic. These are folding lines, by the way. Well, that, that did it. Awesome. Now, you've got to remember, right? This isn't the first time he's done this. He made a chip basket. He made a mount for the lights last time. He made an entire tail for it last time. Oh my god, what you don't what you don't know about Matt how do you not know any of this? What you don't remember fabrication's meant to be his his wheel out. <laughs> well we know it's not, but even to him, it's meant to be. And it's like, he's got nothing. He doesn't form metal at all. He just bodges it together. Oh, that's all going pear shit. Why is that? What's going on here? This is usually... <laughs> oh, that, that's what I wanted to do. Please squeeze it together in the vice. Please. See, what's happened is, is it's caved in on, it's closed up that gap, and it's butted up, and then it's just gone solid. Which is exactly what you want. Look at, what, what, is, what is going on? That's what I wanted. Is that part of the plan, was it, Del Bollocks? I knew it, I knew he'd squish it in the vice. The problem is, right, is what's going to happen, because I'm going to have to go crayons again. What's going to happen? Should I use this one? No, because I, I shouldn't use this one. I should use this one because it's easier to bend lines. So what's going to... Well, when it loads... Take your time. It's all right. We've got nowhere to be. Oh, you decided to turn up. Right, cool. That's good. Uh, the other thing is I can make the lines really thick on this. So what he's got is he's got this and this going on. And when he sticks it in his vice, what's going to happen is... Is it's not gonna it's not gonna squish these sides, it's gonna bend this like that as it tries to fold the sides. So what you're gonna end up with, right, is you're gonna end up with something that's gonna look like this, but then it's gonna it's gonna oh for God's sake, it's gonna Oh, why is that why is that why you've been retarded? Oh you gotta grab the nodes. It is going to want to bend that like that because there's nothing holding it there. When you know, when you grab two things, you go out to bend them. You you're relying on the stiffness of the material. You know what I mean to re retain its rigidity. It's not going to happen like that. But whatever. And it's because the forces. You got these flaps here. They're going to try and push in, but because it's an angle. 
they're going to push in like that. That's going to make that top bit, that flat top bit, it's going to make it bull, bubble out. Ready? Go on then. Oh, oh, you see? Look, look, look. You see? Bended, look. <laughs> Shit. What? How do I know that? It's almost like I can see the future. You know, it's because it's, it's been there, done that. Fucking messing around with a bit of metal years and years ago when I first started pissing around with metal. Oh, no, that was under what I wanted it to do. You spring back as well. So... It's made it parallel, but it's going to spring back. And that's because of the elastic and plastic right, deformation. So there's always some spring back there. You'll notice when you see tools, is they'll, they'll got this and they'll push it to further than 90. So when, the, when it relaxes back, it goes to 90. This is usually why on like a brake press you have a stop. So it, 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 when you're doing repeat parts and stuff like that. Oh, that spring back. You were better off just getting a, a, some box section and cutting it out of it. So get some box section and cut one side of it off and then you know it's straight. Instead he's going to bolt it so now it's stressed out. It's going to already put a preload on the bolts. It's just, it's just not very good fabrication at all. Oh, what are we doing now? No, no, it's going to get worse now. Now what it can do is it can rhombus on you. So instead of these two being square, it can go eh on you. Uh, this is why when you go to when you go to a, a steel fabrication shop, right, they don't have just loads of vices. <laughs> you just don't have. That's all we have here. We don't have. We don't have press brakes. We don't have anything like. That. We don't have forming dies. We don't have anything. What we do is we just have vices and benches. The reason why you don't do that is because it it can get away with certain things, but not like this. Don't pull against the bolts. Look at look how much look how much it's saddled on him. <laughs> uh, you might pull out your because the, the look look at the size of these. These threads in here, there's bugger all in there. You might pull your jaw out, you've got to be careful. Oh, beef. Go on, say it. There we are. Fits like a glove and not a single hammer stroke to make that. Super clean. Now let's drill the holes. We see a normal person wouldn't have to put all the scores in it for one. Another, a normal person would make it square by getting a bit of angle iron, a bit of angle iron, by getting a bit of box section and just cutting the back out of it. Oh, I well I did use the original bit to be quite honest. You just cut, just cut it along the welds. You could save the rest of it. You cut it along the welds, or unless you want this bit. But whatever, wasting bloody time. Holes are done and everything. Pencil, pencil on steel, it shows up a treat, not. <laughs> yeah, there though. Well, you see, what you do, <laughs> why are you measuring it when you have something that fits right there? Look how far it is from there. It's not difficult. Why aren't you just trying to reproduce this? What is wrong with you? It's almost like thinking it's difficult. <laughs> like, the dead stop. So you've got this thing like this, and the dead stop is the frame. So from this edge to your holes, just copy the other thing. Oh, why is this so hard? Oh, yeah, you missed the hole again. You've got one to copy, you dipshit. It's right... <laughs> it's right there! Oh, God, Christ alive. Who would have thought they were 65mm apart? And what you're measuring is your datum. It doesn't touch there. It needs to be clear of there, you div. 
Uh, whatever. Whatever. Of course, it's it's what's that? It's fourteen millimeters exactly. Uh, why why are you not why they're not why are they not in line? Why are they not in line? Because that's a lot further in than that is. Oh Jesus Christ alive. Really? Okay, we'll go with that then. Actually, what does the original one look like? I can't believe he just sat there. Is that offset? Oh, they might super be super clean. Oh, it's super clean. They might actually be. They might actually be offset. If only I'd want to copy a. Eh? You could draw round on a bit of paper the original one. Just lay it down, draw around it with the holes, get your hole centres, and then lay that on your thing and draw around it again. Smarten it up with some straight lines and some a nice radii, you know what I mean? So it's not all nice and proper. Jobs are good. Un. But I know life is difficult. You can even use the inside. You, you've got this right angle on the inside of this U shape. You can even put your card or your paper thing in there so it bottoms out and then draw around it. And then go to the other side, bottom it out and then draw around it. So you know that your holes will be the equidistant from that centre bit. Because on the outside, you've, there's no hard like fence. There's no datum to come off. But on the inside, there is. Ah, shat. Oh, Dell's Del sharpening drill bits. Well, we've seen we've seen Dell sharpen drill bits. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard you scrape it on the leading edge. Let's have a look at this drill cut. So now I use the centre drill. Oh, we didn't see it start cutting. What a shame. Uh. Look at everything bend. It's weird. We never see the initial cut. Why don't we see the initial cut? Because it looks like shit. Because it cuts on one side because there's a spack. Actually, we're not really going to see it cut much, are we? Yeah, it's cutting one side. Who would have guessed? <laughs> oh, look, look, a drill bit that a drill bit that Dell didn't sharpen, and you'll see two spirals come out on either side. Where is it? There you go. Oh, there's two. I can't get it good. There's two there. Two, tips, two spirals. I don't know what happened to his two-stroke oil and water mix. Where did that go? And it's a really dodgy way to grab hold of a bit like that, but who cares? He's only poking tiny holes in it. I just love how square it is. And if you look how it's bent, can you see that his relief that he's put in, it basically hardly did anything because the met where the metal's squashed because this is in this is in tension, this is in compression. The metal has actually filled that score that he's put in. It's pretty much filled it. Because that's what happens. The outside of the radius is in tension, so it's been stretched, and the inside's you know, this has been stretched and this has been squashed and it literally the, the metal moves it's like clay just a lot lot stiffer well, this is like one thing from my videos and that's slow the drill bloody down cordless drills slowest speed cordless drills great for countersinking all uh, deburring also, not counter sinking, that's not a proper count.
Look what happens when you slow down the drill down. Isn't it amazing? No, don't do this. That's not how that works. Stop it. Just put it in the hole and turn. Ah, oh, butchering. You're butchering your tool bit. That's it. That's turned to dog shit. That's what we call an excellent lined up hole. Oh, what are you, what, we see, again, it's the moment you see, right, we're going for the money shot, and then it cuts away at the last second, and it's like, you know why. <laughs> You're so predictable. You do realise when you do that, right, that because it, because it, it isn't square, it's open. So when you put it on this side, you know, there you go, right? So let's exaggerate it. It's got a flat back, but it's like this. So when you put it on this side and linish it, then when you go and flip it over and do the same thing, you're almost creating like spikes, not the edges. You're not creating a flat edge. That's now nice and sharp. You can literally see the burr. It's now nice and sharp. Eight hours. Eight hours for that. Right, we're putting it in again. Why? Don't know. Right. That's an entire video. Are you kidding me? One very smart and very precise little bracket. Very happy with that indeed. Now, that took us long long as the exhaust bracket to make that and I guess it should do it's two folds and four holes just like the exhaust bracket <laughs> that's the name of Dell's uh, adult video coming soon to an OnlyFans and AU it is called two folds four holes exhaust bracket to make that and I guess it should I love I love how he sits there and works it out as well right one very smart and very precise little bracket very oh, it's not precise it's got Legs are Kimbo sides that aren't parallel, and it's got a board bottom. It's almost like you've made the cross section of a, a flat bottom boat, but it's not that flat. Happy with that indeed. Now that took as long as the exhaust bracket to make that, and I guess it should do. It's two folds and four holes, just like the exhaust bracket. <laughs> Actually saying that though, it isn't two holes. <laughs> It isn't two. It isn't two t folds and four holes, is it? You div. It was well. All right, that big thing in the middle. You could call that. Well, that's not a hole, though, is it? You had to drill several holes, so it was actually loads more holes. So no, I'm not giving you that one. Okay, but I wanted to do this without hammer marks all over it, so I pressed everything gently, and the holes had to be precise because they're offset on the frame itself. So I had to get those bang on. And also the width, that width is critical because too wide and it'll waggle about and too narrow and it won't go over. So lots of measuring today. Everything had to be bang on and it is. So I've That's a lot of measuring. I don't know what you measured. I've learned what it's like to make a mistake just recently and have to visit something again. And I don't want to do it with this, especially when I've got other elements to come like the- This is like, hi. My name's Caleb and I've started a YouTube channel and I want to make brackets and fabricate stuff for my bike. He's been doing this for 40 years. Fabrication is his best bit. He's, he loves it. He loves making stuff. It's like the most basic thing he's ever made. It's shite. Now, you might say, but Matt, it has got the ball side. The holes do line up and it's pretty square, right? This is like... This is like week two for like an 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 apprentice. Not an apprentice. You're just at bloody college. It's like the most basic thing ever. Are you kidding me? He's been doing this forever. The way he f fucking claps on. Whatever. Next one. If something's wrong with that, then it will just repeat itself down the line. So that's bang on. That's precise. And I but you th you said this was bang on, and then you found out it wasn't.
100 percent happy the next one is a flat plate to weld in there like a y-shaped plate to mount the clocks on i need to get some material for that so i'll see you in the next one and we'll keep moving what did you think you couldn't get out of that little shitty bit that little ninja star you got left oh give him a clap on the fanny jesus christ it's get it's gonna get to the point he's gonna get to the point where he's gonna film himself up unlocking the door coming in putting the kettle on turning the lights on on his own and then literally going to the toolbox and putting one of these fasteners in and putting a bolt on the back of it that'll be a video it's getting it's going downhill <laughs> How's it? He's not getting more adventurous. He's going back to basics. And even then, it's crap. Like, look, at, look, at, look at these angles. What for? You've, <laughs> you've made three sides of a bit of box section. And you have the original to pinch off. Because the original is going to go in the bloody bin. Or he's going to eventually yield. And he's going to cut another bit off. See the back bit for those for the 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 dash is is barnacles. Um, it it that's off that framework, so he could have pinched that, and then this attachment point with the bit on the bottom with all the welding, he could have pinched that. So he could have done all this and not wasted the 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 three mil beef, and then everything would be spot on. And he could have done all that in one video. He could have salvaged that attachment point and done the brackets attached the clocks to it and then made his t his y piece out of the material is wasted on those two things but no it's how can i turn this three millimeter beef sheet of steel into seven videos here's how <laughs> oh wow So this is 14 videos later. What have we done in 14 videos? Let's just check. Let's just check what's actually happened. This is day 14. So in day 14, we have tried to f fire it up, but we failed because it was because he bodged some fuel lines and he sabotaged them on purpose. The next thing he did was oh replace those same fuel lines that's a separate video by the way and then he took off all the stuff on the bike labeled a few connections which are the most obvious connections you know one big socket at the back two small ones mm, i wonder what they're for maybe that's the brakes and the indicators but what happens if you get the indicators the wrong way around that i don't know you just unplug them and swap them <laughs> i'm not labeling that shit so and then what did he do he took someone else's design, someone else's bits that this channel is meant to be about. He, this is what he's meant to do, and instead he takes what someone else did and put it on the bike and scrapping his uh, ring spanner shite tail because it was for a calf race. I remember that, but it wasn't. It was a rat rod. And then he does a bar conversion. Get this, which he's already done before. He's done this video. He's taken them off and put the old ones back on. For so I reckon he put the old bars on this just before he did this video, just to do this video. He's making videos up. He's like, I can't be bothered. What should I do? I don't know. Just take the bars off and put the old, take the bars off, put the old ones back on, and then replace them in the video, right? So now he's done that. So so far, what we've done is we've failed to start the bike. We've sabotaged some hoses in that video to then replace the hoses. These are hoses that he replaced that are 60 miles old. There were nothing wrong with them. And he was bragging how much it's really good fuel pipe from America. So that's self-sabotaging nonsense. So that's a bullshit made-up video. The next... That's the two first two videos. Then he's stripping off all of his shite. Well, he should have done that off-camera. That's a video. Then he's putting someone else's tail and complains about the shit that they've done, even though it's 20,000 times better than what he did. Okay, then. So basically, he's put on an aftermarket part. Then he does a bar for conversion, which he's already done on this exact bike with his exact bits. Waste of time. Then what he does is he undoes the seat cover 
and then pisses around with some seat base nonsense. Actually, I did not do that, and everyone started screaming at me that I didn't do that. We should do that now, actually. Sod it, we're 35 minutes in. Then he did some dog bones. Well, he doesn't understand suspension, and he muffed that up. <clears throat> well, actually, no, that was the best thing he's ever done, ever. The level one of, like, college for... Week one for uh, any kind of metal apprentice. Cut this cut, cut this shit, this 2D shape out of this metal. Then he did this seat upholstery madness rubbish. On it's that one I missed, so we'll watch that one in a minute. Well, let me just put that over there. And then he did some shite about bearings because he, ugh, whatever. Then he made some bar weights, which were basically he didn't make the bar weights. He made an insert, which sorry, that was all right, that was fair enough. But what he did was, is he basically just polished up the new, the old ones, did a really bad job, and then sealed them. They'll rust a treat. Then he covered a seat and stapled it almost badly. It wasn't... I can't remember. I can't remember what happened. And then he did a custom mount job where he could have just nicked the original mount but didn't bother. And then he fluffed that up, so he had to redo it. So that's two videos on doing the most simplistic thing ever. Then he did an exhaust bracket, which was all kinds of funny. Then he made a another bracket, the, the most simple bracket in the world. You could do, you could do, you could do this headlight bracket mount, clock mount bracket, and the exhaust and the reservoir. You could do it all in one day, four hours max, and get it right instead of getting it shite. And then he made this. Well, whatever this bit of box section was with two holes in it. God, Jesus Christ alive. So basically, he's, he's really done now. Cool. So, we, I missed this one out in the series. We're going to go back to it. We'll just slap it in here. This is Upholstery Madness, day eight. I do apologise. I don't know what happened. We're just going to have a flash in the pan one. Don't confuse my personality with my attitude. My personality is who I am. My attitude depends on who you are. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this one at all. So this is from the Sarasota Sheriff's Office Bomb Squad. Hey, Del, can I sell you a T-shirt and a cap? Yeah, go on then. Okay. I don't know why. He wants to be American so hard, doesn't he? I think these are the only people watching his video anymore. Everyone in the UK thinks he's a knob. I haven't seen this one. How did I miss this one? Just just in case you haven't seen them disposable nozzles, that's how they go on. Yeah, because this is where he did the staple bullshit. They went far too deep and did a horrible job and then covered it in celastic nonsense. And now, he's filling the holes with tape. Cheapest, shittest tape alive. Oh my god, what are you doing? You do realise this shit just goes everywhere, right? Do you know what? It is the stickiest stuff on earth. It is. It must be the stick. God, this stuff is fucking horrible. 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 There you go. It's clearly never used it before. You've got to get the gas in it, so you've got to give it a right good shake and just get it going. Yeah, there you go. It's never used it before in his life. And it clogs your nozzles up in no time. So I've, every time you buy a can of that shit, I have five, at least five nozzles ready. What a mess. What are you even doing? Someone was saying about, oh, you didn't do the foam thing. I was like, what are you talking about foam? This is it. <laughs> okay, good morning. Welcome back. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, no, good point, you mom. I, 
I hear you screaming from all over. It's like chicken wire, t-shirt, super glue, wood. And then this, air dry clear, then doesn't realise it's air dry clear. They're all cracks. The world. This is expanding foam and I've squirted it all over. This isn't a mad giant can, I'm sure we've all seen it. We're all growing many. Uh, the seat back. Well. Base, probably a little bit too much. I didn't know it expanded that much, but the purpose of it is to fill. Well, look how big it was. Do you think that's just it? That's it. Okay, good morning, welcome back. What the hell is going on here? I, I hear you screaming from all over the world. This is expanding. It's just, it's just the cheapest way you could. It's... Oh, look, a memory foam mat. <laughs> foam and I've squirted it all over the seat base probably a little bit too much I didn't know it expanded that much but the purpose of it is to fill in all those little pockets and cavities on the seat base how can you be a grown man and own a house for these many years tell and not uh, not have had a go with expanding foam I, I don't understand and then I can carve out the excess you know that's exactly what we use this stuff for well builders do anyway what I no, they don't, though. What are you talking about? No, they don't. They spray it in, like, cavity walls and shit like that, where you want to make a join between... There's this cavity wall, we're going to put this thing in here where this boiler's going to go, or something like that, blah, blah, blah. There's a gap in there. We can't get in there and get some masonry in there because it's just too tight a thing. Squirt some foam in, plug the gap, and stop the air passing through it so you don't have a bloody air leak, all right? It's that simple. You don't sit there and start trimming off the excess. <laughs> but the purpose of it is to fill in all those little pockets and cavities on the seat base and then I can carve out the excess. You know that's exactly what we use this stuff for. What do you say we? That's exactly what we use it. No one, no one does. You're just an idiot. Well, builders do anyway. Well, builders don't put it on seat bases either. <laughs> what I want to do is use about one inch of closed cell foam a little bit like the street fighter seat something very thin because i want to keep the seat nice and low i can't use the standard foam because obviously why see it's quite squashy and if you cut it really thin you... it's a seat why don't you just use steel because because it doesn't conform to my ass and it's painful it's going to end up sat on the seat base itself you need something firmer which is that but it... you end up no but Oh, it's like you say you end up sitting on you end up sitting on the seat base. No, you didn't. Ride around on that, you what? You're lying. All seats aren't lying. What are you talking about? You're just full of shite. Even that is going to fall into those cavities, and it's going to show. Once you've sat on it a few times, it's going to be all knobbly and horrid. So this is an attempt. How would you know? If I can carve that out right and leave the foam just in the cavities to make a smooth seat base, that hopefully I can then stick that onto and it will stay nice and smooth. Shall we see if it works? This is Penny out with a phone. What is with this sharpest knife in the world, bollocks? It is just a QVC. It literally wants to be American, doesn't he? Even Americans aren't this bad. <laughs> He's giving Americans a bad name. Do you want to work even better? Hot wire. A lot better than that shite, because it's not going to pull on it. Almost like um, halloumi. Oh my good! God. Well, you went too deep there, didn't you? It's like it just it just dived the blade in. God's sake! Oh look! Weirdly enough, if you just wanted to cover up all the holes, why didn't you use fiberglass? It's like it would actually be perfect for it because you could pull it tight and it just thick, thick fiberglass. And instead, you've got all these massive air bubbles and you're making all this bloody mess for no reason. Look how much he's cut off, all of it. <laughs> he literally has as well. What's the 
point in that? Oh, that did it. Well, it worked. Don't you ever think to yourself, oh, fucking hell, I need to stop doing this. I need to stop doing this. This is tragic. I need to stop doing this. Why can't I just go online and see what people do re in real life? You, the guys guys in, in Japan are popping down to the local, their local B&Q or whatever the fuck it is, and they're like, quick, get to the DIY store. What do you need? This is at Yamaha, right? <laughs> we need some expanding foam so we can curl our seats properly. Oh, good job. Works, albeit very messy, but it achieved the aim. What I wanted to do was fill in all those cavities. I've done that. I've now got one smooth layer front to back. That does not look smooth, does it, you bell end? It's as smooth as like 36 grit. <laughs> it's nice and firm and it will support the foam that I'm now going to put on top. All right, now I know that works. That cost me next to nothing to do. The next thing that cost well, it didn't. It took you eight hours and it took you kind of that gooey shine. Cost me next to nothing, relatively, is the sleeping mat. This is a race seat foam. It was £20 for a 400mm square. But this is sleeping mat. There's absolutely masses of it and it cost £13. So it's it, not a yoga mat, but whatever since. It's infinitely cheaper because I want to build a few. No, no, I, one you don't understand the word infinitely, but whatever. Layers up and then carve it into my chosen shape. Alright, I'd love to see that. Can't wait to see that. Get his piss mat out. I need that much. I need that much. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Well, just lay it over and cut it approximately to size. Oh, what a numbskull. Right, let's see if he does it. You've got to let, let this, you leave this stuff for five minutes to flash off. He might have done, who knows. Although he didn't say so. Oh, creme brulee. Well, your cutting skills are amazing. You're sewing it off now. Straight at your thumb, straight at your thumb and your fingers. Go for it. That's it. I wonder if his finger's going to appear with a plaster on it. He's going to take a knuckle off. What are you on this red velvety shit for? <laughs> oh no, you've cut an angle now. What are you doing now? Ah, he's, he's going to scuff it up to oh, the state of the edges. Ah. Oh. I thought you said you didn't want it too thick. This is thicker than the seat you had originally. You could really do with a hairdryer here. Bad art. Any clamps? No. no. Pegs? Even pegs. No. no. It's, I can already see it peeling. No. 
You realise the original seat was the base is like this and the foam came up. It doesn't come out. Because otherwise, when it sits on something, it's going to come out. <sighs> it's almost like, it's a shame they don't have, it's a shame that this washed up, the, it's a shame the plastic base washed up on this desert island that Dell lives on. Right. Because otherwise, because he's got nothing, no references. It's a shame he doesn't have like the yellow piece of foam that was originally on there to copy off and get an idea of. It's kind of like one of the leather saddles, you know, they have the springs on, like Craig puts on some of these Enfields. It's going to look like that, isn't it? Well, that's similar. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, what a mess. Well, at least, that, at least that's the same all the way across. Oh, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, we've got to cut that bit that's delaminating off because it's delaminating. Just ripple smooth, man. Is it symmetrical? Because I can see bits where it's not already. You can see there, this bit's kind of like square to the axis of the bottom. This bit, you can see, look, it, it curls around it. So. Who cares, eh? It's not the shittest job he's ever done, though. It's probably one of the better jobs he's done. What did you buy all that for? Did you get enough? Why does he have to do everything ten times too big? Look at the size of it! Why does it need to be that big? Use your brain! Sorry. I shouldn't take the piss out of the disabled. God. Sick. What are you spraying and glue on the bits you don't need it on for? Don't know. It's contact adhesive. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but that's too big. And it and it stretches. That's it. Well, it would be a good idea to wait for it to cure first before you start cutting it, because you're peeling it off, you div. I'm sure all the seat upholsterers do this. Why don't you key that up? Oh, because I, I didn't know I was going to do this. I'm making it up as I go along. Oh, okay, cool. Well, at least you're honest. Oh yeah, it's like you got some. It's like you had something to start with. And it looks like you've just made it worse. Right, when I started out with this with that expanding foam, I just thought this was going to be a total fail. What a mess that was! But so why did you do it then? Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you have a have a practice run? Why don't you just? Why do you just dive straight in? Where I am now, I can't believe I've achieved this result. I'm so happy with that. I've 
But you say this about the chip pan. You said, oh, it's epic. You Literally, I've got a clip of him saying, this is absolutely epic. I couldn't be more proud. And then it goes up in the rafters because it's shite. <laughs> what about an inch of that closed cell foam? It's nice and firm. What happened to memory foam? I thought it was memory foam. Till I said, it's not memory foam, you retard. And then he stopped saying memory foam. I know you're watching. But just enough give to be really comfortable. And of course, with the scrim over... Have you sat on it? Over the top. Sc scrim? It's scrim? No, it's not. All it needs... You've got to remember, he was in three parrot. He should know what scrim is. He should know what scrim that is. It's not that. It's now. is a proper fitted cover. I'm sure he knows, because he covered it in that bloody bandit. Ah, oh, he just makes shit up, doesn't he? Now, I'm not a trimmer. I've never made a cover for a mo... A trimmer? Is that what they call them? I thought they called them upholsterers, but... Who cares what they're called, really, eh? A cycle seat that needs stitching. Never done it before, but I know I can borrow a sewing machine. I've got some vinyl on the way, and I've come this far. So I may as well finish it and make my own cover for the very first time. So join me in the next one, and we'll see how I get on making my own seat cover. First time ever. I'll see you then. And it turns out fantastic. I hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.